now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. See the big red letters? That's me, Alex. See the white ones? That's the ramble. That's the program. And it goes until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's down. He's over there in. Well, he's up there. Is that up there in Massachusetts from here? Yes. 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 Uh, he used to be out there in Las Vegas or in Boulder City, but now he's over there, and you know what I'm talking about. Sure. That's Stephen Kravitz, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How's Hi, it? Alex. Well, how's your whole uh, move out to the East Coast turning out now? Well, it's beautiful today. We've had some beautiful weather. Unbelievable, right? I went out the day that uh, uh, that uh, uh, Biden got uh, elected. I went out and I hit the courtyard here and just went. This is the happiest I've been in years here. Yes. You know. Now, weren't you weren't you anxious on the third? Uh, yeah, and I was stupid to be anxious because we were all warned. Right. That right, right, the initial right. the initial. Uh, uh, vote would probably be pro-Trump. Uh, well, no, because here's the reason. Uh, he sat out there uh, telling all his people, oh, the mails are fraudulent and the mails right, are sure. blah, 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 but you've got to vote in person, vote in person. So that first vote that came in was the in-person vote. It wasn't the mail-in ballots. Right. So the people right. who did the mail-in ballots were the Biden people and the people who did the poll voting same day voting were, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, were, were Trump. Trump. So basically, that initial amount of votes that came in, of course, was pro Trump. But the minute they started adding up the uh, votes from the uh, from the right, uh, right, no. right, boy, I can't talk today. Once they <laughs> once they uh, came out with the vote for the uh, for for you know Biden and the mail in votes. Uh, it it started turning, and of course, right, let's let's see how the next uh, seven weeks go or eight weeks. Yeah, well, he, uh, Trump has been saying his big argument is that, uh, and it's an old-fashioned theory, and that is, well, gee, I I won on election night. Where <laughs> where did all these other votes suddenly come from? Right, 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 right. Well, maybe we're counting all of them. I mean, to begin with, this has been a year like unlike any other year. Oh no, kidding, right? Yeah, so Please turn out to vote ever. Y yes, but I mean, also there was more pre-voting. Yes, you know there yes. was that, and there was also the uh, the uh, 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 problem with uh, people. Uh, well, uh, we uh, voted early, and then there was right. the mail-in ballots, and that right. they accounted for a great majority of the voting. Because of the situation we're in did right you, now. Did you, I voted mail-in. How did you vote? I voted. Uh, we went up to uh, early early voting. We went up and just cast our ballot. Yeah. You get the little sticker? Got the little vote? sticker, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ma mailing in, I don't get the sticker. You don't get the sticker. But, ma you know, I mean, uh, we, you know, we could have, we could have, then one of a couple of things. Excuse me, folks. I'm really out of it today. I don't know why. I'm just let me drink more coffee here. Well, normally you're loopy. Hmm. Your normal state of mind is loopy. Is loopy. Yeah. Right. Anyway, um, what what happened was is we went up to the uh, to the polling place and did early right. voting, which and that's fine. That's terrific. That's a great idea. Uh, and what you could do when you were there, we took our ballots with us just in case we needed them as identification. We didn't know. We sure. could have dropped off our ballots there and just gone on our way, but we decided to wait in line for an hour and actually do the vote. Oh, good for you. Good you know? for you. And after it was all over, Marjorie walked out and she uh, she looked at me and she said, I just feel great. Yeah. What a wonderful yeah. feeling that was. But you I know? was very anxious on the third. Well, uh, 
we were all anxious on the third. We didn't know which way it was going. Right. And now, as, as I heard it, Trump, I mean, Trump got 70 million votes. And Biden got 74 million votes. Well, he's up to seven. Biden's up to, he's up to 75, 76 million. He's f over 5 million ahead of Trump. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. At this, at this moment when we are recording this, which is, you know, uh, a few days before, it, before it's airing, going to air. So now, no, normally in the past, wasn't the president... Uh, Announced the day of, like on the third, but no. Not well, it, 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 the president is never announced until the electoral college votes and right, meets right, and votes. Right. But uh, the states come in with their with their uh, results, and the results have never been written in stone. What you've gotten is the press's idea of who won. Right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, uh, no state ever had a completed vote the night of the election. Now, Trump still thinks he got elected. He, he, somewhere in his adulpated mind, he, he <laughs> he's, he's sending out these tweets that read, We won! Right, 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 right. Well, in what universe did you win? In Trump's universe. You know, you won, you lost by the the popular vote, and you lost by the electoral vote. Right. And that right, electoral right, right. vote is going up each and every day that we speak, and it'll probably go over 300 before we're finished, and you're still right. back there wallowing in 213 or something. something like right, that. And, I, and I thought I counted slow. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, right, <laughs> right. Right? So, so, you know, I mean, it, 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 and what is really horrible, and as of this recording, I don't know, you know, this thing changes every day. The um, um, they well, won't Biden get they won't give Biden, Biden any they won't give Biden any funds to set up his new administration yet until he's right? officially declared the winner. Right. And that's according to a Trump appointee who was in charge of the General Accounting Office, I think. Right. Right. Uh, I mean, and then he's supposed to get as the newly elected president a daily the daily briefing from the CIA. Right. So he can know what's going on so that when he becomes president, he hits the ground running. Right. He's informed. They won't They won't give them to him. They won't uh, release it. It's not the CIA that won't release it. I think the GAO has to okay it. I, you know what I think? It, 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 it's making me nervous, but I think we're heading for a civil war. Well, I think we're, if nothing more, uh, as, as, uh, as Biden put it, you know, the government is purely capable of getting rid of trespassers. Right, right. <laughs> Enemies, foreign and domestic. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, a president that won't concede. Right, well, right. Well, you know, I mean, if it were really close, I'd say, okay, I understand you don't want to concede. I mean, right. Gore didn't concede. It was too close. It was like a couple of hundred votes. Right. No, he got the Bush got elected by the uh, Supreme Court. Uh, yes. Yes. Five, five votes to four. Yeah. Yeah. So our votes didn't even count. Well, our votes didn't count. Well, the question is, how much do they count? You know, I mean, they all get boiled down into this. Uh, I mean, like my vote, my one vote gets compressed into like twenty nine votes. Really. Well, because that's the electoral college. Oh, right, 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 See, right, right. So, right. so really, whether I, especially in this state, whether I go and vote or not, doesn't matter. It no, does, it does. It does, because you feel better. Well, you feel better, but what I'm saying, it doesn't make much of a difference, because I know this state is going to be liberal. It's going to go right. democratic. Yeah, my, so, my state is completely yeah, democratic, yeah. except we have a Republican governor. Uh, I mean, okay. we're a solid blue state. Yeah, yeah. Well, he must have been a pretty good governor, a pretty good guy. Right, if, right, if right, he, right. If right. he won those Democratic votes, you know. Right, 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 right. Uh, but, it, you know, I mean, it's just, I, I, you know, I just feel so relieved that after four years of this just horrendous situation. Yes. That we're. It's terrible. That we're, we're doing okay, you know. 
We're so good. I went I went to the doctors on Monday. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know this, but when I was sick in April, I weighed 115 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get up to 145, mm -hmm. but I shot right past that to 160. Oh, so now you're a fat fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I have a belly that jiggles, and I'm not into it at all. Yeah, well, get used to it, you old man. How old are you now? 64. 64. Well, you're going to find that everything that used to go north now go, is going to start going south. Thanks. You know. Thanks. Something to look forward to. Uh, and that includes your balls as well, I might add. Yeah. That's like when you're sitting on the toilet, it looks like you're making tea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's so, Dave Tyree's joke. Y y who? Dave Tyree. Oh, really? It's a very good joke. It's a great joke. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, uh, it, 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 getting, uh, I think Betty Davis said, it, getting old ain't for sissies. No, okay. no, no, no. You know, and it ain't. Uh, and it's terrible that... Uh, of what happens to you. I mean, like, I'm tired all the time now. Of course, I think a lot of this has to do with this COVID fatigue. And now, yes, I'm where, sure it does. where I was getting, starting to go out a little bit, I find now I'm, I'm my legs are too weak to walk any are longer. Are you serious? Yeah, any long. Well, I do have some neuropathy, but I just I just felt so weak walking the last. And right. also, you know what makes you weak? What's if that? you're walking and wearing a mask. Yes. You know. It also makes you hot. Yeah, but it, it makes you, you know. Right. You, 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 and um, that's not fun either. Okay. No. But, I mean, I the mask, you got to wear them. It's what's going on, folks. Well, but, there's a new mandate here. You absolutely have to wear them once you step out of your house. Good. Good. But the thing is that you go to um, uh, here in New York, Everything was going down. I mean, we were down to... We, one day, we had no deaths in the state of New York. Okay? Yeah, right. And we were down to, like, 0.6% infection rate. Wow. Now we're up to 2.8. And uh, what was it yesterday? 24 deaths. And I'm... And we've, and we've just begun to peak. Yeah. And I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to go have an operation on the uh, uh, first of the of next month uh, to, for my eyes because they have a tendency I have a problem with them the lids are drooping and that is, right. a, that is a medical condition and so it can be uh, taken care of by, by Medicare what, plastic surgery? no Medicare well it isn't plastic surgery but it's Medicare they go and they cut and then they you know it's, it, they, it, yes you could call it plastic surgery but it's, it's, it's something that Medicare will pay for Oh, I get you. I okay. get, it's not elective. Yeah, because it does affect my health. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, but, uh, you it, know. It affects your quality of life. I can either have it the first of next month or I could have it in March. It doesn't matter. I mean, my right. eyes ain't going nowhere. That's right. And That's when right. I take a look at these numbers going up like they've been going up, yeah. I don't know that I'm going to go into a hospital to get this done. You know, no, you're right. Uh, you you're know, right. I may hold it off till the first of the year. Uh, yeah, things go. Yeah, because I mean, it it, it it's starting to go up, and uh, I don't want to be part of that scenario. Okay, right. And at my age, I'm in that high risk group. You're getting there. You know. Thanks. Thanks. I hope to get there. Well, it makes me feel better to know you're getting there. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. All right. <laughs> well, I'll be 65 in March. Will yeah, that help? That'll help. That'll help. Then I can go have the early bird special. Yeah, the early bird special. And I can wear a warm coat yeah, in the middle yeah, of the summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't wear warm coats during the middle of summer. <laughs> I don't do that. No, but you see older people doing it. I guess. I guess. So, anyway. Um so uh, anyway, everything's fine up there in um, in Massachusetts. Over there. Oh yeah, we o did get o snow. Over, we did over get, there in Massachusetts. You know, we got snow on uh, the thirtieth of October. Really? We got six inches of snow. Really? And then it's been beautiful. Yes. It's been yes. like it's been like spring, but the you know it isn't spring because the trees have changed. 
Right. You know. Really, I don't know about there, but the foliage here was terrible. Really? Yeah, oh, it was okay. all browns. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, no reds, no yellows. Oh, we got reds here. It's really nice. Come on oh, really? Down. Come on down to New York. Hey, listen, <laughs> uh, we've run out of time. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. There he goes. That Thank is Stephen Kravitz. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, okay. And if, if you listen in the background very carefully, you can hear, hear that? The air conditioner. Now, why do I have the air conditioner on? It's, it's, it's November. Shouldn't have the air conditioner on. Uh, what is the temperature? I don't even know what the temperature is right now. But the temperature is not, uh, not low. Okay. Uh, so, and also in this studio, it gets steamy, too. And the reason it gets steamy is because we've got all this equipment uh, warming up the place and everything like that. Uh, you know, uh, you know what amazes me. I got to tell you, something that amazes me is modern technology. In this respect, I have a, a, a I'll give him a name, a QNAP uh, server over here. It's a, it's an array of, uh, it's a bunch of hard drives, and they're all stacked together. And then if one goes out, it doesn't make all the data go away. You just, re- you know, anyway. It's a fairly complicated piece of machinery uh, that I've been using for a long time to store my programs and so on because I know that if one of the drives goes bad or it goes out, I just simply throw another one in there and it rebuilds everything while I can still use it. So anyway, it, it makes up thumbnails, pictures of the, like if I'm doing the show now, it will suddenly at some point make a thumbnail of the, of the show, of a picture of the show. And those thumbnails disappeared. Could not get them to work. So I write them at QNAP on my little uh, app that I have here, uh, my uh, that I that's on the browser. And I write them and tell them the problem. They worked for three days trying to fix this thing for me, and finally today they did it. And they got all my thumbnails back and everything else. Now, what it made, it made, now you say, okay, well, that's wonderful that they could do that. But the fact was, I gave them permission to go on to the server here, even look at my porn, uh, go on to the server here and see what might be wrong or not might, what might not be wrong. And they did a few diddling around and fixing it, looking at it and saying, here's what we got to do. Do this on your end. We'll do this on our end. Ba, 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 ba. And they fixed it. Now, what makes it amazing to me is, okay, they fixed it from South Korea. All right, they went to my little machine right over here. So it's about this big. And they went in there and they fixed it. So thank you very much, QNAP. And if you're going to go buy yourself a, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, a, a, a server, a disk uh, array, uh, uh, a, uh, um, buy a QNAP. Okay, they're very good. And they, they, and this is the second time I had a little bit of a problem because they're pretty complicated in their operation for an old guy like me to be able to, to grok that, as the term used to be, is kind of difficult. Um, and they have been, on both occasions, just splendid and uh, worked with me and uh, got onto my machine and fixed it and did all that. And I, I'm amazed. And they're in South Korea, okay? Hi, South Korea. So anyway... Let me see here. It's time for us to check in with the people who have already checked in, which is just a, a brief amount of people here. Let's see here. Let me uh, make sure we have everything all right. And uh, here comes our Zoom panel. There we have um, uh, Jeff. Oh, Charlie, you haven't joined, Charlie. Well, anyway, Jeff, move your camera a little bit yep. so we can see your whole head. There we go. I don't like you to look like we decapitated you. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> now, Charlie lives, before we tell everybody why we're congratulating Charlie, Charlie lives in Texas. Yep. And Texas today just hit a record. Yep. <laughs> yep. What is it, over Seven. a million cases of COVID? 
Over a million cases, and we set a new record for single-day infections today. Oh, really? Eight months into the pandemic. Okay, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. First of all, when we say number of cases, this is total cases over the period of time that they've been counting COVID. Yeah, we're okay. first state to hit a million cases. At one point, we were number one. Then we became number yeah. two. Uh, when you guys, I think, picked up the slack, and then California picked up the slack, and, and we became number four. I yep. can't remember what the third state is. And even Florida. Florida's Florida, also ahead Florida, of us. Florida, right, is yeah. ahead of us. So we're not— We left out in our dust. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we still have the most dead, though. We're, we're pretty well claiming that one. But you guys are working on it. Yeah, we are. We're almost 20,000 dead. Now, so almost yeah. twenty thousand deaths. We're up around yeah. thirty-three, I think. Yeah, thirty-three. Yeah. But that was because we were at the very beginning. You yeah, guys, all back in April. Uh, yeah. You guys have managed to pull that off with all the medicine that's now available. You know. Yeah. So, oh boy, isn't that? Isn't I that am good? trying to stay alive. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Well, and, you uh, know, every day I kind of have to rethink about what. I should do and what I shouldn't do. Yeah. And it's mostly don't do this. Don't do this and don't do a lot of that either. Right. Um, I, as I say, I was supposed to go have my eyes done. I'm calling them tomorrow and calling it off. I'm not going to go into a hospital till this thing starts uh, fixing itself. Uh, we're a little better today. Yesterday we had 34 people die in New York State. That's, that's a lot for us lately. Okay. Uh, 34. Uh, today it was only something like uh, 27 or 23. I can't remember, but it was not as high as it was yesterday. But geez almighty, come on. And our governor has finally said, and I don't get this, he said, uh, we're not going to, um, uh, we're not going to, um, um, uh, we're not going to allow uh, restaurants to be open after 10 o'clock. And bars can't be open till after ten o'clock, and gyms can't be running till after ten o'clock. Uh, after ten o'clock at night, and I'm thinking to myself, what happens? COVID wakes up at ten o'clock. <laughs> I mean, what? Why? Why is it? You know, why don't you just close them all down? Oh, well, we can't do that. You remember what it did to the economy before? Yeah, but you remember what it did to human beings? Yeah. And the, and the reason he's doing it. Ready for this? They've had a big surge in Connecticut, where you are, Jeff, and a big surge in New Jersey. Okay, so they, in both those states, have told them they have to close at 10 o'clock. Well, he's closing at 10 o'clock here in New York because he doesn't want people to come from New Jersey to drink. Yeah. Okay, because they'll go, well, they're closing the bars at 10. Let's head over to New York. That's good idea. So, 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 so the idea was he, he's closing at 10, too. But I, you know, my feeling is we should just, I don't care what happened, close down the whole goddamn yeah. country, okay? If we did it, it wouldn't even take us a long time to, like, choke this thing and, uh, you know, it, it cut it off at its heels. But, you know, I don't understand it. I, I just don't understand it. Uh People out there, listen. If you uh, no, not enough people listen to me, I won't make wouldn't make a difference, you know. But uh, I just say, you know, you know, wear a mask. It's the least you can do. You know. Oh, I don't want to be like Biden. You know. Yeah, wear a mask. Okay, it's not a political thing. All right. It it's 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 your saving the lives of other human beings and by the way yourself because the cdc just came out with a report that says that by the way you're also protecting yourself when you wear the mask before we used to say you're protecting somebody else now you're also protecting yourself as well yes charlie yeah and uh oh god what was i gonna say uh <laughs> oh god uh, you're getting like me aren't you yeah. Oh man! Well, it'll come back to me. I'll. Yeah, yeah. Where is everybody? Well, There's nobody calling in tonight. What is this? They yeah. all died. They all died. Yeah, they all got. Oh, the... I know what I was gonna say. Oh, okay, you were gonna say <laughs> yeah, where they, is everybody? People are ignoring this, even though fewer people are dying. 
from COVID. They're ignoring the, the, the cost of getting sick and going into the hospital from it. It'll bankrupt most of the people. Anybody that has to go into the hospital with COVID is going to probably end up bankrupt. That, it, that it or it, or uh, insurance companies are going to be paying through the nose, or it's just you know it's just a matter that we can't afford it in in any one of a number of different ways. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's it's not good health wise. <clears throat> you know, I mean, it's just terrible. It's terrible. Um, COVID COVID sleeps at night. COVID <laughs> sleeps at night. <laughs> no, no, no. Wakes up at ten at night. <laughs> wakes up. That's right. Wakes up. It wakes up during the day. Yeah. yeah. During the day, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. I, you know where I got that fact from? Donald Trump. So. Uh, <laughs> Are you sure? I haven't heard from him for a while. Gee, he I, he's disappeared. He hasn't, hasn't been staying. This is the best thing has happened. <laughs> yeah, he was at uh, he was at Arlington National Cemetery today for the oh yeah uh, oh yeah Veterans Day uh, yeah. the uh, the the placing of the wreath at the tomb of the unknown president uh, <laughs> and. Uh, he uh, he does not look happy. Suckers and losers. Well, why would you be? It was like you know. He says it's, huh? it's strange that the that the veterans. I mean, the army, the military didn't and voted for Biden. I said, well, you call them suckers and losers. What do you expect them to do? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you alienated everybody. How about all those McCain voters in uh, in uh, in Arizona? Yeah, yeah. You know, they aren't that hot about Biden, but they don't want some guy who. You know, put down McCain. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it just it just you know, it's a wonderful world. We just I, this is getting so wonderful. This whole scenario, it's it's ridiculous. Do you know what did I what was I just reading? That the oh, the State Department is holding on to letters from foreign dignitaries who were sending well wishes to Biden. Yeah. And they're holding on to them because they go through the State Department because they just go through a courier, right? They're holding on to them. Trump won't let them send them on to Biden. Yeah. Jeez. What an idiot. Jeez. <laughs> it's just so vindictive. He, he's, he, it's terrible. It's just terrible. I mean, he's going to, at some point, he's going to have to bite the bullet and at least realize that as of, no, as, as of January 20th, he won't have free lodgings any longer. No, you know? I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I, I, was watching, I was watching on YouTube. I was getting lost on YouTube. And I found, <clears throat> you know, they have these, like, uh, these, like comebacks that uh, Obama said, you know, when he was being interviewed and, and different things and stuff like that. And man, you know, he's sharp and just bam, bam, bam. And then you go back to Trump and it's just like, oh, it's just so painful. Even Adrian says the reason why she liked Biden was because he was smiling all the time. She said Trump looked mad all the time. Every time she saw Trump. So that's yeah, he was a nasty, a nasty candidate. No question about it. Yeah. It was amazing to me. Uh, but uh uh, how 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 is California doing with COVID? What are the numbers out there? Is it, it, it are you guys number two now with Texas or? Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to see where we're at because, uh, especially in this county, because of the schools, since they're going to start getting the data, mm -hmm. see if they're going to come back. I know everything's picking up everywhere, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if our area is not doing that bad. Let me see here. Where's the, oh oh oh? He wasn't going to do a report today because it was Veterans Day. I was looking to see if um, if I had a report yeah. from Cuomo, but we're not yeah. doing very well here. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, for us, we were doing terrific. We were like st giving the rest of the country the finger and saying, "Hey, look mm -hmm. at us!" You know, we're at uh, point six zero six percent or whatever. And uh, well, I think it could have been so much worse, huh? It could have been so much worse worse if it wasn't for Cuomo. Well, yeah. You know what I mean, I, I mean, mean of, of anywhere, you're just afraid of New York City. Everybody's on top of each other, and and to get it down so low is incredible. Well, Cuomo came out with this micro uh, micro uh, system. This micro. Oh God, my mind is blank tonight. Uh, oh, the neighborhoods. Uh, it's called uh, um, it. it the, the microcluster strategy. Oh, okay. yeah. In which they would say, okay, this area is 
got a hot spot. We're going to stamp it out here and stamp it out there. I don't know that that was the best thing. I think that we probably should have been a little more careful about opening up the restaurants for indoor dining, you know, <laughs> things like that. Um, I went out to dinner the other night, and I went to a restaurant. It's a, our favorite in the neighborhood, and we like the people who run it and so on. So we like to go there when we do go because we want to see them stay alive. They have in their, in their uh, restaurant, a hun- what, what, what do you say, how many? They have something like 50 seats. Outside, they made room so they can serve 150 people and still have safe distancing and all of that. So actually, they've done pretty well during this. The only problem is winter is coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you get a big <laughs> snowstorm, they ain't going to have 150 people. I don't, they get in the lamps and everything, the hot lamps and everything. But, you know, that's not going to melt the snow, you know. So I mean I I you know so yeah, I, I yeah, you know you come to that the micro the the micro clusters and you still have people going to work you still have people that are going to friends and they're crossing those those areas right and so even if they have a micro cluster that's down pretty much somebody else can spread it and go to another area that's not yeah you know that's not too bad and it's just going to keep spreading everywhere well, it was it was only, uh, boy, I'm just terrible tonight. I shouldn't even be doing a show. I can't even speak a, a coherent sentence. Uh, well, anyway, it was, uh, it, it, you know, it, it, we were doing just fine. But the problem mm-hmm. is that we can't just isolate ourselves enough mm-hmm. to where what's going on in the rest of the country doesn't come in to infect us, mm-hmm. no matter how hard we try. You know, and we have a lot of uh, an issue. Uh, 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 oh God, I can't even talk to them. Are, are, are some of those neighborhoods that that they're? I mean, the, when you look at the map, does it make sense that this is a populated area and they're trying to isolate that area, or are they just drawing a line like a zip code and then you still have half and half of people they're that are saying still like coming? like here is a red zone and then the outlying area of mm-hmm. it is an orange zone and the outlying area of that is a yellow zone. And you mm-hmm. can't have any kind of stores open or anything in the red zone. But in the orange zone, you can do a little more. And mm-hmm. in the yellow zone, you can do even more. Okay, so that's how they're, how they're doing this uh, microcluster thing. But it's kind of a microcluster fuck. You know, I mean, I don't think it, it, it's necessarily working. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I cannot believe where I live, everybody is... Uh, a senior and uh, you know it's usually a guy and his wife sometimes one of them died or whatever but he, these people always walking around they never wear a mask and then when some other people were walking against them they go oh what a great opportunity to talk for 20 minutes huh they, but they don't even have a mask, like have they a mask don't. even they at all. Don't. Now, if I they go to the store, they have to wear a mask. No, but, but I don't know what their thinking is. I don't know where their brain is at. I mean, are they so selfish? Don't they realize they live in an inf- a community which is subject to infection and you want to minimize those infections? I think they just want a suicide. <laughs> no, I think, I think there's yeah. something egotistical that says, well, I'm not going to get it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's crazy. I'm I'm immune from it. I'm healthy. I work out. Yeah, where do you go? The gym. Good uh, luck. You know. I mean, indoors are terrible. And and really, what's happening now is the governor is saying, look, if you can, don't do Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. You know, have your own little turkey at home. Uh, we're having about three people over here, but they're people that we're close to that we know. And I'm armed with my little thermometer here. Okay, my thermometer gun, as it were. So I'm very ready for them. Yeah. So anybody shows up with a temperature, they're turning around and walking out the door, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we had plans to drive down to L.A. to see her family down there and, and uh, some of my family, but we're going to go down there. 
uh, for Thanksgiving. And now I think I got to talk to her and tell her I don't think we should be going because that's what they're talking about. You know, other people going from other areas. And there's going to be a lot of people, her family down there for sure. So Before yeah, I go to Charlie, I, I want to just, uh, somebody called me the other day and said, where is, uh, where is uh, Brian's wife from? Uh, oh, yeah, I heard that. It was the truck driver on yeah. Monday. Yeah. I heard after I hung up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you were right. You were, you're the winner. She's Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, well, so I've been there. I've been there like three times for probably about like 10 weeks total. Been there a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it nice? Yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun because yeah, you, yeah, you know the culture and everything. You know all the scooters and everything. You know you can find anything you need for the house or anything. You know within a few blocks, and everybody has their business on the bottom, and then they have their house like three levels up. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's so much fun. Yeah, because uh, my wife and I, when we were in, uh, when she goes to China every year, was going to China every year. Uh, we were thinking maybe we would, I would go over meet her and we'd take a side trip. And one of the places we thought about going was Vietnam. Cause I oh, hear, yeah. Yeah, I hear yeah it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, yes, Charlie, what were you going to say? I was going to say that uh, I, I heard someone say today that the, uh, the uh, majority of the cases that they're getting now, like over 50%, are from people going to bars, gyms, and closed restaurants. Hmm. And and they won't close those down in in uh, Texas. No, they have, they're not closing anything down here. Why? Until we set a new record today. They aren't even talking about closing anything down. Really? You, you know, states like uh, that have like Republican governors. We're on the yep. air today saying we're closing everything down. You know, not we're Texas, s- not Greg Abbott. Texas has one thing that's closed. <laughs> what? You can't get a test. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you can't get a Stop the testing. test unless you have symptoms. Oh, Stop testing. Doctor, right? oh, oh, be fine. oh, oh, so this is the, the new theory that if you, if you don't test, there won't be any COVID. That's all I can figure. But let's see. Over, over a million cases of COVID in Texas, and the tests have been coming like back. Charlie uh, uh, yeah, they, 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 we've had less than half the tests that California's had, but we've got more cases than California. Oh, really? Yes. Son of a bitch. So is there any sporting event tonight? No, not oh. on Wednesday. No. The weekend there is, but where, not, not where, on the weekdays right now. No basketball, no no uh, baseball. Where is everybody tonight? I can't think straight tonight, so I could sure use people joining in and talking <laughs> with the rest of these people so I can still look smart. But I'm Everybody's a, burnt out. I've been having major brain farts tonight. I mean, like I'm trying to come up with a word, and I can't come up with the word. But they say that the whole COVID fatigue thing mm-hmm. is a major factor, major health factor right now. Yeah. And I think all this campaign stuff, all the election stuff being drug out so much and all this other stupid stuff from the campaign trail, that's just bad, that's too. Helping. Well, I, yeah, exactly. I keep saying to myself, how can Trump do this to America? And then I remembered he's a selfish son of a bitch. He doesn't care about anybody else but Donald Trump and the perception of Donald Trump. Well, if he doesn't like the perception of Donald Trump now, wait till history writes him down as the yeah. guy who who wouldn't concede the election in spite of the fact that the guy who was going against him had five million more votes in the popular vote than he yeah. did. <laughs> but no, I, that was all that was all fake. That was all uh, it was all rigged. It was all, uh, you know, I just. And if you could anybody go over to Fox, watch Fox at all. Oh, yeah. Uh, isn't that he another, can't stand it for wait, more than isn't minutes. that another world altogether yes. over there yeah they've got we've got a case in uh, in uh, in ohio where 15 ballots were thrown into a garbage can and somebody's going to testify <laughs> to that oh yeah that's going to change the numbers right they keep your 15 go ahead we don't yeah. care but i mean they're looking for everything they can to show that the, this was rigged and I've got to say that I think this may have turned out to be maybe, maybe the most uh, legal election we've ever had. Everybody yeah. was yeah. on their best behavior. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I've heard too. Yeah. I go to the gym. I go to the gym, but I go during at twelve o'clock when I get off. So there's like five people in there, but everybody's wearing masks. But when I'm there, the stairmaster or the elliptical, they have Fox and they have CNN. Mm-hmm. So I've been watching both, and that, that that one show they have the five or something like that. Yeah, and I start watching that, and then I'm like, oh my god, I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> I watch this one. Then I just watch the Home Improvement show over here because these guys are a bunch of idiots. I don't know what they're talking. Well, about. I mean, Fox is like this whole other world. It's like Bizarro <laughs> World, you know. Remember Superman, where there was Bizarro yeah. word, World and up was down and down was up and Seinfeld, left was remember? right, right was left. What? The Seinfeld episode, yeah. Bizarro World. Yeah, Bizarro World. Mm. Yeah, they, Bizarro <laughs> Jerry. They look like yeah. them, but we're nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Hmm. He's, What's he, up? For those of you listening to us on audio only, he just waved. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. 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 He, I was watching Fox too. Tucker was uh. Tucker oh. was uh, throwing up all these names of dead people. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, there was, I counted uh, 20 of them. He said, Woo! dead people, and then I saw Barbara Bush on there. And I go, well, there's a Republican that mo- voted dead. <laughs> so, you know, of course, all these people were, were uh, apparently <clears throat> all Democrats that voted that were dead. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's amazing how they're they're coming up with all these dead people that voted, and they were all Democrats. Hmm. No, I, I, you they're, know, they're it's no, just it's amazing. They just continue to light the gas. So John McCain wasn't on that list. <laughs> I don't know. He didn't. I didn't see him on that list. But I, I saw Barbara Bush, and they, you know, they put and, these and, names. And, and what was and then t- they died, and they were all voted. They had all supposedly voted. What was Tucker trying to prove? That uh, you know the mail the mail in ballots went out to everybody, unsolicited, and that that these people voted. Well, to begin with, didn't I, any, he didn't show any proof. He just put these names out there that supposedly I, I they voted. I don't think. Now I may be wrong Plenty about people. this, but I may be wrong about this. But I don't think that um, that amounted to anything because the notion. That dead that they were sending out ballots to everybody is a wrong notion. I think they yeah. sent out no, uh, notifications that if you yeah. wanted a ballot, send this back in and we'll mail you one. Well, and, and, and those were sent out that, to that, everybody. That, that very well could have been that they sent them out because I had, I had, I think four, maybe five people come in with their envelopes and surrender them to me. Mm-hmm. Say. Here, I got this in the mail. These people don't live here anymore, or this person's dead. Mm-hmm. And then we'd put a surrendered sticker on it and send it into the office. But now, what would happen? You have four or five of them. Okay, what would happen if I walked in with that ballot, one of those dead people ballots? I still couldn't just vote. I'd have to prove I was that person, wouldn't I? Well, that was a question that somebody asked. You could come in and say that you were them and vote on that thing but you'd have to you'd have to be pretty good at it well you'd have to sign for it you have to sign for it but don't you have to show some kind of identification not in california not in california Hmm. well maybe the election was stolen licenses we tell them we don't have to see that we don't want to see it well maybe the election was stolen from donald trump i i changed my tune yeah it's it's (laughs) it's kind of strange Mm. I always thought it was strange that you know that you don't have to show your license in California or any ID. You know something? Wasn't there wasn't there some kind of law or something where somebody sued about some state requiring uh, driver's licenses, and they said that not everybody has a driver's license, so therefore you we didn't have to ask for those. Yeah, it was only when you register you had to show some kind of yeah. ID. Yeah. But yeah. then they give you a card, a voter registration card. That's what you used to have to show before Texas passed the ID card law. You used to have to come in with your orange or blue or whatever it was, voter registration card, and that was your proof. Yeah, they don't do that here. Not even that, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, because um, um, here we had, well, we could take our ballot in and drop it there. Okay. Or... Yeah. Uh, we got this uh, thing in the mail, which was a, like it almost looked like a ticket that had a barcode on it. And when we went to vote, we just put it on the scanner, and it 
automatically knew who the hell I was, you mm -hmm. know. Said Bennett Schwarzman, you know, and my address and everything, and they gave me the stuff. That was the way you voted here. That was the, your form of identification. And I don't think dead people got those. I think we had to actually request it. Well, we had to request uh, uh, a mail-in ballot. You know, it wasn't just sent to us. Yeah. Yeah, same in Texas. Yeah. I think we were yeah, sent uh, information on how we could, by returning something, we could get a ballot, you know. But, you know, I mean, to think that that, that the Democrats were going to go that far to win an election is ridiculous. And yeah. Republicans wouldn't. And right. Republicans would. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and we would see the for have the to presidency, through. but not get rid of McConnell and Graham. Uh, we would let them get <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. pretty, that's pretty uh, precise to have to go through all that and say, okay, you guys do this and you guys do that. Yeah, I would like to see in the states where he's complaining, did some local people who are Republicans get elected? I think they probably did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could go both well, ways. You know, you, know what, you know what those Democrats did who were phoning that? They voted for those people just so you wouldn't know. You know, oh yeah, yeah. yeah because, that's because great idea. we are we are very conniving son of a bitches. You know, we're very good at this sort of thing. Hello, uh, Tony. You see, uh, I was just reading the news. Yeah, I'm going to try to not be vocal because my mother's still up. But did you see about the mask mandate, Alex? The 16 states that won't let their people wear it are all Republicans. Even Charlie, even in Texas, we yeah. won't do what the governor said. They're a bunch of fucking scumbags, really. They're, they're killing themselves. They're making this a political statement because Biden wants to make it a mandate, and they're just not going to go along. I, I might ask Trump, Trump that I, I I might tell him where some of his voters went. They're dead. <laughs> and yeah. I thought Trump was at the cemetery, you said. Hmm? You see his fucking face? They should have kicked him in the fucking dirt, really. I like that it was raining really hard and they got all wet. He looked like a pile of shit walking, didn't he? Do you think he's going to ever take any questions from the news reporters Bet you until know. he's gone? I, I don't see him ask, you know, he's not going to take any questions. He's not going to let anybody ask him any questions. Yeah. Because right. if they did, the first thing would be like, well, how does it feel to lose by over almost six million votes? Yeah, I love it when he walks out and he's done when everybody's yelling the questions at him. Yeah. There one time they said, So if if you win, do you still think it's rigged? One of the people <laughs> from CNN yelled that at him and he just you know, he just walks in the in the door. So did funny. You see, did you see Pompo Pompeo, whatever it is when they were asking the questions? Yep. Well, we're taking uh resumes for Trump's second term. Really fuck out? Yeah. You lost. Yeah. You fucking lost, yeah. asshole. They should, I would just start dropping f bombs at them. Enough of acting. Well, here's here's what's, what's kind of kind of setting up to be somewhat semi dangerous. <clears throat> would you like a job? Is I'm he got like... rid of the uh, uh, the rid of, rid of the Secretary of Defense? Yep. Yeah. And installed a new Secretary of Defense. This one is a nutcase. This guy. <laughs> what is he? Tata or Tate or something like that. Yeah. He's been yeah. hard for two yeah. weeks. Two months. <laughs> he um he has come up with all kinds of conspiracy theories over oh, the I years like that, and that he's a real nutcase but he's now in charge of the pentagon yep and suppose trump wants to suddenly oh i don't know invoke martial law I can add, oh, and he's got somebody who's going to go along with him on it yeah you know i mean I'm, am I being overly paranoid about that, or is this the way oh. dictators in other oh. countries take over? Yep. Yeah, that's how they do it. But the generals I mean, don't have to listen. They don't. You know, they should. We have to think about that. Trump really hasn't said anything for the no. last four yeah. days or something. Yeah, yeah. But well, he, everybody else. He, he has created something new, and that is that anybody who works for him who is out looking for a new job, mm -hmm. he fires them immediately. He's on the hook, yeah. <laughs> I mean, who who would have thought that he, well, did you ever think he'd go out like this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You yes. Know, they'd have to drag him out. Charlie, you may get your wish. You know, assholes know how to do these things. 
Yeah. Is that he's just a sore loser? Is well, he's he... a whiny little bitch. Is yeah. what he is. Yeah. Alex, I and, and I joke around, but I really can't stand the fucking guy. I think, you know what it is? What he's do you mean you're joking guy. around? That's not joking around. You hate him. I hate him, Alex, because you know why? He was the rich kid whose daddy gave him everything. Yep. I had everything, and and he's a dumb fuck, and everybody knows it. I would ask him, as reporter, is it true that you had paid somebody to take your SATs? And if, and if he says no, they should hand him a test. Here you go. I think you get 200 to sign your name. I bet you you can't break 1,000. I think he's dumb, but you know what I think he is? He's street smart. He's, oh, he, oh, he's street he smart. No he knows, question about it. He knows how to move things around. Well, you know, he keeps talking about the Biden crime family. Come on. If there was ever a crime family, it's the oh, Trump shit. family. <laughs> yeah. We know he's not as smart as Roy Cohn, but he knows how to maneuver. He knows how to manipulate people. Well, Roy Cohn, I don't know that Roy Cohn was smart. Roy Cohn was shrewd, you know? Alex, he finished law school like almost a year and a half. He skipped almost two grades in, in school. Who? He graduated at a law like at like 21. But That's who? like unheard of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's like highly. And his father, I was reading his biography. His father was uh, was a Democrat. Nothing like him. Well, I told you my uh, yeah, I encounter, like that my encounter with Roy Cohn. Uh, I had a friend who had a radio show, Barry Farber, and he oh. wanted somebody to come on and debate Roy Cohn. Can I you, said, can "Sure, you. sure, I'll do that for you, Barry." And I went down there. Uh, I don't know how to put this. I've, I've said this to other people who met up with Roy Cohn too. I like the story. I said I looked into his eyes. And they were two of the deadest eyes I've ever seen in my life. It was like shark eyes. And at one point, I said, how'd you feel about sending the Rosenbergs to the electric chair? And he said, I felt great about it. And he looked at me with those eyes. Mm -hmm. And I Jeez. suddenly realized that I had met the devil. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was the most evil person I have ever <laughs> encountered in my life. Put a chill down my back. You think he hated himself, Alex, because of his sexual hang-up? I always wonder when I read his biography. Because he was closeted. I wonder if he hated himself and he took it out on other people. He was proud to be an asshole is what he said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He taught Trump several things. You never pay your bills. Yeah, that's true. And you never admit you're wrong. Yep. He never does. That's what Trump got it from. Yes, you know, I don't think he got he that from his father. His father was an asshole. But not as big an asshole as Roy Cohn. I was going to say, Shecky said the father was a real piece of work, Alex. Oh, yeah. No, he was a piece of work. I mean, well, look how he fucked up Donald. I was going to say, you know what? Yeah. I may have issues with my mom only joking around, but they must have ruined Trump. I mean, just to the point that he had no father relationship, I think. Even probably with his mother, too. Yeah. Definitely got some kind of... There's no family there. Well, my question, I guess, to you people is, how are you taking this all? I mean, are you are you watching every moment of this whole thing unfold? Or are you just sick of watching it? I'm watching very closely. You know, I, I, I hoped that the minute that Donald Trump it was announced that Biden had won, that it was over, you know, that we didn't have to put up with this whole thing any longer. But we can't. We have to keep going on with it. It just it's the gift that just keeps on giving. You know. Till noon on the twentieth. Huh? Till, Till noon on the twentieth. That's you right. Take a bet. You so well, he won't he won't be there on the inauguration. No way. Who? Trump Trump won't show up to the inauguration. You think he'll be there? He's got the military on his side. He can do whatever hmm. the fuck he wants. Yeah, well he's not gonna he's not gonna go to the inauguration. Definitely unless, of course, that, unless yeah. of course, it's his inauguration. It's me. I'm back. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Does he have to be invited? Huh? Maybe Biden won't even invite him. No, <laughs> I don't, no, I don't think he has to be invited. To I be think invited. it's kind of tradition that the outgoing president be there mm -hmm. for the incoming president. Yeah. And I'll tell you, it's mm -hmm. no, uh, there's no, uh, it's no secret that who was it that. Um, who was it, George Bush Sr.? No. Who was it? Uh, the, there were two people that hated each other. Just didn't want to have anything to do well, with it. Oh, well, uh, first of all, Hoover and Roosevelt couldn't stand mm -hmm. each other. 
And they took a limousine together to the inauguration and wouldn't talk in the limousine. Okay. But Hoover went anyway. Yeah. You know, because it was the thing to do. Um, there have been other presidents. I mean, Carter didn't feel good about going to the inauguration for Reagan. But, you know, it, it, I can't see if you're a one-time president, you don't get elected the second time. I can see how there's a certain bitterness you have. But you suck it up and you do what's right. Mm-hmm. And, that's, and that's season. exactly what Carter did. And that's what, it, uh, that's what George Bush Sr. did with Clinton. You know, you invite them to the White House. You then give them all the secrets and debrief them on what's going on. And uh, you have a peaceful transition. Here, you're going to have Biden transitioning. Sounds like he's had a sex change. Transitioning. Found uh, 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 Just blindfolded. Yeah. You know. I mean, he can't even get his goddamn mail. I heard you say that. I mean, come on already. This is ridiculous. Can't somebody step in and say, let's, let's grow up here? Well, you have the, the uh, what is it, the GAO or the uh, Government Accounting Office or whatever, mm-hmm. who is being run again by a Trump appointee, who until all the ballots are certified, is not going to allow Biden to have funds for his, you know, his transition. Uh, which, again, is not a sex change operation, folks. I just I want to. <laughs> I, I just find it just horrible. That they're doing yeah. that. Trump, Trump doesn't respect the, you know, the, not the, yes, the presidency. You know, he doesn't respect the presidency. He just thinks about himself. Yeah, do so he think, doesn't. Do you think that he really believes he won? That's a good question. Because you know what? I want. I mean, is I he that? De- if he's that delusional, we don't want him in pre- as president. I right. mean, the man's crazy. He could be out more than he is now instead of hiding. I mean, he's he he would be out more protest, you know, saying the same crazy stuff he was saying before over and over again, all these little things that are coming up. He's lost every single court case about this. Yeah. Zero he's won. But he claims that he is going to be president, that he won this, and then at the same time says, and I formed a committee for 2024. And they're working on the budget. And they're working on the budget. They're I working mean, on the budget, they said. Yeah. You're like he's, oh, my God. <laughs> like he knows what the budget yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. Hey, Alex, get this. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine in Bizarro World, ready? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine he somehow won this by some f- shenanigans? Can you imagine the streets? They will, they will run amok. Well, look what they were like when they were celebrating Biden. Yeah, Think of what they're going to do if he were people. to suddenly rob this uh, presidency away from Biden. But that's not going to happen. I don't really There's too much. In, it looks like he's going to win Georgia now. They're doing the recount. He's, um, what is it, 16,000 votes ahead. And they say that in most cases, recounts never turn out any differently than the original vote. No. But they do yeah. it just to say, we did it. And by the way, it's a hand count. Did you know what James Caldwell said, Alex? Let him do the recount. You beat him twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not going to change anything, but go ahead. Never, do it. Never more it looks like to Arizona go. probably now is going to go to Biden, uh, which means he got Nevada and Arizona, which were the two that were going to put him over the top anyway. Yeah. Right. So I don't care if you eliminate Michigan and above, blah, 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 so on and so forth. I mean, the fact is, you lost, motherfucker. Get over. In 2016, they were saying that Democrats were the poor losers. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had a right to be. We had a right. Democrats. Yeah. In 2016. The Republicans are doing now. We had a right yeah. to be sore losers, though, because our candidate got three million more votes than he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, of course, we're going to be bitter. A tad? Of course. Yeah, he won by a lot. You know, I was looking at history. He well, he didn't win by a lot. He won by a lot of electoral votes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I looked in history, Alex. He's only the fourth incumbent president to lose. I, I, if, are you sure it's four? I think it's like... I think it's, 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 it's like... Four. Is it four? 
Really? I think it's his fourth, yeah. Yeah. But I think he's going to lose by a big margin, they said, for popular vote. I don't know. Oh, that popular happens. vote. Oh, yeah. He's already, uh, he's already Biden's already million. about, what, five million ahead of him? Yeah. So he, he so both elections, he lost the popular vote by eight million. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. And you know how stupid Trump is? All he had to do maybe was tell his people to mail in the votes. <laughs> if they would have mailed them in. They do both. Don't worry. If he had not negated mail-in vote, at least we would have gotten. He, see, here's what he feels. On election night, I was watching the results come in, and I was winning. Yes, of course you were. Because those were the people who voted for you were the people who went to the polls. But the people who mailed in their ballots were the people who were going to vote for Biden. And they just mailed in their ballots, you know, because they didn't want to get the COVID or whatever. Uh, he said he won. He didn't say he was winning. He said he won Georgia, or he won Pennsylvania, and then they whittled well, away my my win. Yeah, well, how did that happen? Well, what happened was they started counting the mail-in ballots. Don't count the votes. <laughs> and yelling? they went almost to 80, 85% Biden. So, I mean, and he set it up by telling his people, oh, this, you know, don't go to the polls and vote. Vote, vote twice. I think he said that on one he occasion. Yeah. My mom was like, how are they going to do that? They can't, I told her. Mom, yeah. Mom. yeah, you know. Um, but he, he was telling them, hey, you know. So, I mean, he, he, created, he created his own negative scenarios. You were talking earlier about the Army. Yeah, those yeah. Army ballots come in. That's going to put them over the top. Let me see here. I'm going to vote for Trump. He called me a loser. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, go ahead. Alienate anybody who would vote for you. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, he sent up his own. Uh, I don't know if he felt that. I wonder if anybody was telling him this is all wrong the way you're doing it. Or he, he just didn't no. want. He likes to micromanage. He didn't want to do it. You know. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. They're all scared of him. Huh? Nobody's going to tell him he's doing something wrong. Yeah. He's the boss from hell. He's always right. Oh, would you have wanted to work for him? Can you imagine? I wouldn't even last. I'd probably tell him off. I, mean, I didn't know lunch was in two hours. <laughs> <I'd be late. laughs> you know, I mean. By the way, I'm taking off tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and the reason I'm taking time off is you say you're going to pay me, but you never do. <laughs> That's a go, yeah. You better hurry up and get the check. It'll bounce all over the street. <laughs> How's it going out in California, Kevin? How are people reacting to all of this? Of course, California is a Democratic state, but yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty quiet. I mean, you know, people don't really give a shit. I think they're just saying, wait, wait till it's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, well, he's not content. My he's... friend up in Oregon. Who yeah. is a, a a Republican, and he voted for Biden, and uh, he was pretty, uh, you know, pretty adamant about doing it. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I think a lot of Republicans voted for Biden. Yeah. You know, the thing is that if you're a Republican, and I don't, you know, they, they, of course there were all kinds of things they said about Biden, and that he's a he's a communist, you know, blah 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 blah. Socialist. They love that. Socialist. Socialist. Uh, and, uh, in fact, there was somebody, where did I see? Somebody wrote either here or I got something. Oh, yeah, I got a note from somebody who said, um, you're not going to like this, but I voted for Trump because I'm from Ohio and we have a lot of factories here and stuff. And if Biden's elected, all our jobs will go to China. How, how, uh, where did where you get idiocy. that in from? Huh? That's the idiocy that they have, you know. Mm-hmm. And here, Trump wants to get rid of every damn union you can find. Yeah. So, I mean... That's, that's what they don't understand. Well, I mean, yeah. uh, uh, people are voting against their own best interests. If they're a working man and they didn't vote for Biden, they voted for Trump, they were voting against their own best interests. Yeah, you exactly. Um, yeah, I had, I had somebody say... <clears throat> somebody sent me a message that said, Oh, if Biden wins, your classic cars are going to be gone. Oh, yeah. Like, your classic are you cars are going to be gone. Yeah, right? because yeah. yeah, your cars are going to be everything's gone. Everything's going to be electric. They want to go electric, so they're going to take your cars away from you. I said they're yep. not going to take your cars. Away. Your they cars haven't taken the guns, guns away. Yeah. They'll take the guns away first. Well, they may eventually you. say no true. car can be built in America that isn't electric, but they're not going to tell you that you can't keep driving your gas 
Mm. Yeah. You know. Trump's the one that took away with the regulation to be at a certain year, you know, a certain yeah. year in the future to be so much percentage, uh, you know, electric efficiency. And Trump didn't care. He signed that away. You what, know? Was, what was his thinking on any of this? I, I mean, I love how he was trying to save coal miners' jobs. Why? So they go <laughs> down there and die? Yeah, that's a big yeah. And he still hasn't fixed one effing road or bridge in this country. Not one. He hasn't? Yeah. Not one. Hell no. Not ours. Oh, yeah. But he built a wall. He built a freaking wall, but he didn't fix a road or a bridge. There's, there's five there's walls around the White House. got rusty bolts holding them together. By the I way, those of. walls around the White House are probably bigger and longer than the ones he's been able to put up in his entire time yeah. in office. Right? I mean, there's that eight-mile-long bridge out there in, in on the East Coast. What is it called? The, there's an eight-mile-long bridge out there that I saw a documentary on that the bolts are literally rusted through. They're this big, and right now they're about this big. Wow. And you guys got traffic running on those things every day, and the thing's about ready to collapse. And he said he was going to fix that four and a half years ago and never touched it. Well, we did. We just uh, initiated a new bridge and took down the old one. We, we used to have the, uh, what was it called? What was the one that went across the Hudson? Uh, the Hudson Tony? Bridge? No. No. <laughs> but it, it's been replaced with the Mario Easy. Cuomo Bridge. And it's a beautiful oh, really? bridge. Beautiful bridge. And, it, it, you know, it was going, uh, they tore that one, the other one down, but it was falling apart. But Trump had nothing. This is an eight-mile-long highway type over the water or something. I don't know where. I, I can't remember where it was, but it's on the East Coast somewhere. Really? I don't know of any. Florida? It, it, no, I, it's, up, it's up in the, in the north, north area. Up in, really? Really? Yeah. Hmm. They said it was an eight-mile elevated highway is probably what it is. Well, less elevated now. Probably. Yeah. Yes. That's the uh, Virginia or something like that. Yeah. Something like that. But I mean, you know, it. it um, um, I just think that we have a real uh, situation here that is is just not healthy. Uh, the whole idea of trying to tell the rest of the world that this was a rigged election—it's not a message you want to send off to the rest of the world. But he, he doesn't care about our perception in the rest of the world or whatever. And he must have been really pissed off when his pal Boris Johnson called Biden to congratulate him. You know. Yeah, he was pretty worked up today over there in the par parliament. Yeah. And uh, on, on Angela Merkel, um, you know, uh, called him, called Biden. They're all calling and they're writing, but the letters, as I say, are not getting to Biden. Isn't there something illegal about that? Not delivering the mail? Can that be a federal somebody? offense? Where's my mail? I mean, well, this, yeah, this has got to be. Well, it, it, it's terrible. It's just ter It's just horrible. I just, you know, and it, it was, it, people keep saying that what Donald Trump's doing is ruining his legacy. Yeah. And of course, my question is, what fucking legacy? Yeah. Well, you never get it. These four years have been really. Turbulent to say the least. It's like you'll never see this again. I doubt it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the legacy he's left behind, though, is the animosity. Yeah, that's not going to go away anytime soon. You know. Uh, yeah, but I think a lot of people just believe that Trump was the president and he was really a good guy. Yeah. Well, we cre he created a a, 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 a personality, an atmosphere of just nastiness and animosity and that kind of thing is not going to go away not anytime soon oh i i you know marjorie keeps saying to me well you know 70 million people voted for him so 70 million people are going to be fighting biden tooth and nail and i said no no he got 70 million votes maybe 20 million of those might fight him might be resentful but the rest of them will just say, eh, as long as Biden takes care of America, okay, you know. And as long as they don't see their taxes go up, and as long as they see jobs coming back, and uh, maybe COVID is fixed, uh, I, I think they're going to come to like Biden. In fact, I think he's going to be quite well loved. He's a decent, likable guy, you know. 
Plus, his name is Joe. How American. <laughs> you know, you can't get more American than Joe. And he's got two dogs, too, Alex. He's, he's got two dogs? Trump had no dogs in the White House. Yeah, even the first time in a century, yeah. He's a hall of yeah. Well, you always had to have the first pup, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, especially ever since Roosevelt. I know Roosevelt, it was Falla. And um, uh, let's see, the, the, there was Bo was one of the dogs uh, that uh, uh, Obama had. But why do you yeah. name him Bo? Wasn't that, wasn't the dog, Obama's dog the name Bo? Sounds right. Mm. You know was, what? You there, know what there was Biden Bo should... Biden. Did he name him after Bo Biden? You know what? You know what Biden should do? Adopt a uh, dog from the ASPCA and name him Trump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mutt. Oh, Donald. Oh, just Donald. <laughs> Donald will suffice. Easier. Yeah. Well, you know, remember, you, you remember when the dog visited the White House, he didn't know what to do. The dog kept sniffing him and the, like, probably afraid looked like about. he was ready to pee on his leg. Oh, yeah, leg. that was the dog that was like uh, in, in the war or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 He brought him back and... Bomb sniffing dog. Oh, he, snuffed, he sniffed out Obama, or that, that, that guy they killed. He sniffed him out. And, and the dog kept looking at him like, who the fuck are you? And Obama, I mean, uh, Trump kept looking down at him like, what do I do? Do I have to pet him? You know, he's looking down at him funny, and he didn't know what to do. He yeah. doesn't do well with animals. Remember that eagle? Well, I have, to admit, I, I have to admit yeah. <laughs> that on a, on a, a comedic level, Biden isn't going to be able to come close to Trump. I mean, we've had some good laughs over Trump. Yeah, you know well, the the only laugh Jim Carrey, we got, Jim Carrey can do a pretty good Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but oh, it's gonna it's gonna wear out fast. Oh, here comes Tom Yamaguchi. Ah, why mm -hmm. why? I wonder why Tom is calling this late. It must be somebody died, right, Tom? <laughs> so I just I just came out, so well, I didn't get to the I beginning. I said, of "Was is it Tom?" I said, it's "Tom," but he's calling late in the show, and it must be because somebody died. Well, actually, I, it's because I have answered your question. Oh, what's that? That uh, Obama's dog Bo was named after Bo Diddley. Oh, oh okay, so it was yeah, B O as opposed yeah. to B E U mm -hmm. -E B O B O. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bo Diddley. Wow. Yes. Bo Diddley. How cool. Because yeah. he, he was a blues guy, yeah. 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 Uh, how are you doing? He's dead. How are you doing, Tom? <laughs> I, we haven't talked to you since the big upset. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. What, what, what's your takeaway, Alan? Um, one take I have is, question, is this a coup d'etat or is this just one last final con? And, uh, yes. And... and the reason I say that is because, you know, I'm on the Republicans' email list. Yeah. Uh, because in 2012, I uh, registered Republican to vote in the presidential primary. And mm -hmm. I've been getting emails ever since. And I guess I could unsubscribe, but they have just been a great source of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> and, and well, so and also, and now, also, also, it costs them money. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, well, they don't care. I mean, you get the snail mail too. You get the snail mail too, Tom. What's that again? Do you get snail mail too? Occasionally. Yeah, because I, I, I was they, getting it for some reason. I don't know. Like I, I remember. I mean, occasionally, do you remember? Do you, what I really like is when they send me the the postage paid envelopes. Yeah. Because then I could stuff those envelopes with lots of stuff and send it back well, to well, You remember what we yeah. did uh, when, uh, with, we, with when, Peter Popoff, we, right? when we were doing the Peter Popoff thing with with, um, uh, with, right. with Patrick on my show, on my radio show at Sirius? Uh, he started sending away to Peter Popoff to see. We wanted to see if Peter could could heal him. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so he kept writing him, you know, I'm uh, amputee, uh, not amputee, but a paraplegic and I blah 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 and they they kept sending him stuff and send him prayer cloths, prayer prayer tissues, I mean all kinds of things. And finally they said, uh, you know, we've noticed you haven't sent us any kind of a contribution. <laughs> and any amount would be appropriate. Appropriate. So I told him and he did it to pack up as many pennies as possible. Mm -hmm. And attach the self-addressed yeah. envelope, stamped addressed envelope, and send it back to Popoff because 
if you have a like a prepaid send it back to us envelope uh it, it will ex- so they only charge so much for that envelope but if it's over a certain weight they will start charging more money for it yeah. so i said send about a thousand pennies and that's exactly what he did and it was i think yeah. popov had to put out like you know 10 15 bucks or something i don't know but yeah Anyway, yeah. if I could just finish my thought about yeah. about uh, about the the final Trump con. Mm-hmm. So basically, you know, Trump if he if he concedes, that means that he can't continue to raise money. Yeah. And his 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 campaign is broke and in debt. Yeah. And so he's sending out these all these yes. recount, and and somehow always it's like. Your money's being matched one thousand percent. It doesn't ever says who's matching this money, but he's saying <clears throat> your money's being matched thousand percent, and so he's just flooding all his supporters. Oh wait a minute! That's... All these emails demanding money, and sixty percent of it is going to pay for y- yes. His but actual... it it says that on the bottom of the letter because uh, yeah, I, I got, haven't I... been able to find that fine print. But anyway, so I I believe I believe that the, the fine print. But but the whole thing is, he's trying to bilk his people for every last cent before he leaves. Well, um, um, you know, our good friend Phil got one of those letters, and he sent it to me. And on the bottom of it, it said, I, either 50 or 60 percent of this can go, can go, uh, to uh, pay off our debt for the, uh, for the election campaign. But, but it won't. <laughs> But it won't. Um, it's terrible. I mean, it's terrible. And it's terrible that his people still put up with that. Yeah. You know. Anyway, it's one last con. And I also noticed the interesting thing about those emails, and I've tweeted this, is that the um, the reply to field is Trump birthday alert. And I thought, well, uh, maybe that's the whole plan is when when Trump runs again, he's got to be running on Kanye West's birthday party. I don't know. <laughs> so. By the way, Kanye uh, conceded, didn't he? <laughs> I don't know. I believe he did. Yes. He formally well, That's right, conceded. because he says he's going to run again in 2024. That's right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he he was actually the vice, you know, as I, I said, he was actually nice. the vice presidential vice candidate president. here in California. Yeah. And and he still, I mean, the, the American Independent Party, I think they came in fourth out of the five, uh, red, you know, listed parties on the ballot. It mm-hmm. came in it, it just in front of peace and freedom. It would be interesting. It got beat, beat by the Greens and the Libertarians. So it, It'll be interesting <laughs> to see how many votes Kanye West got nationally. It's never been you know, add it up or whatever. But I imagine, is it on your, uh, are you looking there, uh, Kevin, at your... Yeah, because I, 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 you know, I, I didn't even look at the other ones because I knew who I was voting for, but I skipped right over that. Was he really on there? Yeah, he's on there. He was on as vice president in the uh, yep. American Independent Party. Like a Rocky oh, or like, something was the president? Yeah. yeah. Rocky, Fuente, and... Yeah, Harvey right, Harvey. yeah. Yeah, and Kanye West is right there. No shit. <laughs> also, um, I rolled right over. Kanye, Kanye didn't it. know I what. Knew I made a mistake. But wait a minute, Kanye didn't even know what he was running for. I mean, he was running for president, wasn't he? <laughs> so yeah, they got him advice. Yeah, and he really put a big effort into it as well, didn't he? <laughs> he made a commercial. Did he make a commercial? He made a commercial. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and was did you was it on in California? I saw it online. Oh, online. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you, I should it's find that and make a copy of it because that, that could be a collector's item. Oh, it's very <laughs> inspirational. Yeah. <laughs> so my question is now: How long do you think it's going to be before Melania leaves him? He she already has. So yeah, she's already filed the papers, probably. <laughs> They're all drawn up. They're all drawn up. Now, I mean, uh, I mean uh, how long do you figure it's going to be before she just says, "Hey, you know, it's not right." Twentieth, twelve oh one. Because you know, when she, when they did, when he won the presidency and they moved to the White House, she refused to move to the White yeah. House until he signed a new prenup. Yeah. <laughs> so that prenup probably says, "I'm out of here after it's over." Yeah. 
Here you go, Donald. Be best. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Here's your papers. Yeah. Yeah. Who gets the kid? I wouldn't leave the kid behind. No. 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 She'll take him. You know. Oh, he'll yeah. ruin him. Uh, he know. doesn't want to. Kid. She's probably yeah, she's probably a pretty good mother. You know. I'm. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. I don't. She's got to be if she's stuck with him this long. Well, are we are we against Melania? Or are we just sorry for her, for her? I'm not sorry. I'm, not I'm sorry, sorry for her. She's a birther. <laughs> she's a birther. What do you mean she's a birther? She, she is. Credit, she was all into the birther thing. Went. Oh when, really? Yeah. 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 Hmm. hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, she it's a little late. Money, to, uh, what? What? what, 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 what it's a little too late to worry about whether Obama is uh, uh, is American or not. It's all water under the bridge, yeah. wouldn't you say? Wow. Yeah. What a country, huh? What, yeah. you know? <laughs> I had to live my whole life to have it wind up here, you know, <laughs> uh, with this thing going on. Um, I've not seen anything like this in my lifetime, and you know my lifetime has been quite extensive. <laughs> okay. Yes. Quite the uh, four-year show, huh? What? Quite the four-year show. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I have, but I'm not in my whole lifetime seen anything. Like that. I've seen some pretty terrible times. I mean, the whole communist witch hunt back in the '50s mm. was pretty terrible. What was going on there? Uh, but nothing has compared to what has happened here, which is the total ruination of this country in a period of four years. It's morality, it's uh, e- economics, it's health, all of it down the drain. And I'm the one who, on, I'll say this again, on the last election night when I told Marjorie, she says, how's the election going? I said, Trump won. And she went, oh, my God, what are we going to do now? And I said, <laughs> ah, don't worry, how much, what can he do to screw up this country in four years? <laughs> well... I At the kind end of, of the day, the uh, government is still running. It, well, I didn't have enough confidence in Donald Trump. That was the problem, <laughs> you know. Didn't our life expectancy go down for the first time in like history? I think so. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. uh, and I imagine it's even gone lower with the COVID out there. I mean, oh, that yeah. would add into the life expectancy. Yeah, that's it's it's sad. It's just sad. But do you think we? Do you think by? Uh, I don't. I don't. Do you think Biden can get us out of this? Do you think he can turn it around? Or do you think he can just stop it from getting any well, worse? They did it before in 2009. I mean, it was this it was a different type of crisis, but you know, yeah. we were, you know, on the brink of of a great depression. Yeah. And mm. Obama and Biden were able to to turn it around. So, yeah. I'm willing to give him a chance. Yeah. I guess so. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, I give him. Of course, I'm going to give him a chance. I'm just wondering how much he can do. I mean, he's being handed a daunting task. He's being mm-hmm. handed the economy. Wow. He's being handed the COVID thing. He's being handed the the divisiveness in the country, and he's got to somehow take that and turn it around somehow. Yeah. And I, if, I'm if, just, I'm just hoping the Pfizer drug. Yeah, I was just going to say. Works. Oh well, you know that that's all Trump's doing. You know. Oh, yeah. Pfizer, in fact, said it wasn't you know, Trump. It was done by yeah, a he federal money. No, no yeah. they, uh, uh, they, they said they came out the other day and they announced it. And they said we wanted to announce it after the election, and oh, we want God. to say that no money was put into this for right. development by the federal government. The only thing we got was enough money to make up a million doses to have ready. But we, so far as the cost of creating this drug. The government had nothing to do with it, nothing to do with the development. So, yeah. whatever. But he's still taking claim for it. Yeah. Oh, God. He's such a such a savior. Anyway, thank you, Jeff. Thank, thank you, you, Charlie. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Tony. And Tom, always good to see you. Everybody, give a big yeah. wave goodbye, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. Okay, there we go. There goes our citizen panel for tonight. They're off into the uh, sunset. And uh, we're getting ready for Jack Bishop. He's up next with the intersection uh, right here on most of these GabNet stations. Uh, We'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Uh, Yeah. 1030. 
Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there and wear a mask. Okay? I want to see you live tomorrow.